Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have Lenovo ThinkPad laptop, and the model for this is, uh, let's see, it's a first generation. I'm not sure if you can read the fine writing here. Let me try to angle to the camera. So this is the first gener generation uh, of the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Yoga. Alright, so I'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to, uh, you know, change out your CPU fan, uh, maybe upgrade the RAM, change out the battery, or maybe change the motherboard. Uh, this is a complete teardown video, and I'll be doing it step-by-step. -step. As I do it, I'll explain to you what are those components, how to remove them, or how to replace them. So if this video helps you in your repair, please give me a like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. I really appreciate you for doing that because it does help me and keep me motivated to you know to, to do all this repair for you um, over the YouTube channel. So again, please click the like button and enjoy watching this step-by-step um, -step tutorial. Alright, so I do have the uh, electric screwdriver here and this is a Phillips screw. So let's go ahead and remove the uh, back panel. Uh, just so you know that the screw doesn't come out so well you try not to you know remove the screw because the screw just stay on to the to the to the back plate Alright, so once I have the screw uh, not removed but to unscrew it, once you have done that, the back cover will just come right out. Let's put that on the side here. Here you can see your entire laptop with the battery, the motherboard, right, and the CPU fan. Here are your speakers at the bottom left and right. So the first thing I need to do is I actually need to remove this plastic cover. Uh, this plastic cover is actually, you know, for them to uh, prevent any dust to go in there or maybe some liquid splatter. Not like water resistant because obviously you can see the gap. But, you know, for somehow you get some splash on the water or whatnot, hopefully the plastic catch it before it goes into your motherboard. Alright, so I guess that's pretty much I can remove. It's just pretty much this uh, one plastic here. Now the first thing I need to do is to disconnect the battery. Okay, so this is the connector right here. I'm using my fingernail and I'm lifting up from the top here. So I lift the connector up from the top instead of the bottom first. So I lift it up and that would snap off, not to break it, but to, you know, to disconnect the battery. Alright, so the next step I need to do is to see if I can remove the battery entirely. Okay, looks like we need to remove the speaker as well. As you know that the, uh, the speaker cable is blue and white is for your left speaker here okay so kind of go along with the battery all right and then the red and black that is for the speaker on the right side Okay, so I have the speaker on the right side removed. Now this is the connector here. This That is the speaker connector. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingernail and I'm going to slide it down. I'm holding the white connector here and slide it down to my body and that's how I remove the speaker. So you need to remove the entire speaker in order to get the battery removed and if you speaker has like a static noise to it or muffled sound to it 
Uh, in other words, that means your, um, your speaker has blown and it's time for a replacement. Now, if your battery here is not holding the charge and if your laptop have like a swollen or swell battery here, uh, this is how you replace the battery. And if you want to go ahead and look up for the model number, let me see if I can find it for you. Let's try to look up for this one, SP10 F46467. Um, or maybe just look it up, I don't know, Lenovo. Mm, maybe this one 01AV439 or maybe this number right here. Uh, I'll try to look it up later because um, right now I do not have access to like Amazon or eBay uh, to check out the battery for you. But yeah, so check the description below. I will have all the um, tools and the parts listed in the description. So check it out if you need to do a replacement for yourself. Alright, so um, once I have the battery removed, the next thing I need to do is to explain about the M.2 solid state drive. So this one right here contains your windows, your data, your program, anything that you uh, store is stored into this M.2 SSD drive, okay? So there's only one screw that holds on to that. So once you remove that screw, you can go ahead and slide the M.2 to your left. Okay, that's how you slide it out. And let's just say, this is just actually like a static back. Um, I don't think it disperses heat. It's not like a copper, uh, but it's more like the protection for the drive. Okay, um, if you decided not to uh, fix your computer, you need to recover the data, um, you know, to try to migrate your data over to the new computer here. Uh, you can actually, hold on a second. Uh, what you can do, you can actually buy this USB NVMe adapter. So what this adapter do is allows you to insert your hard drive, okay? And then you can plug it into your other computer and try to recover the data. Now, if you are saying that I need to upgrade my uh, hard drive here to a larger drive, maybe like a two terabyte, you know, you're running out of space, uh, check out one of my video somewhere in my channel there you just look it up for a clone m.2 ssd to a larger drive just look it up something like clone hard drive um, in my channel i explain to you how to clone the m.2 over to the larger drive here okay so that's for your hard drive now uh, for those of you who says where is my cmos battery your cmos battery is on this one right here uh, it's actually this connector and if you want to disconnect the CMOS to reset your BIOS whatever reason you can just have to push out the uh, the pin to reset it okay uh, but for my case I'm going to replace the CPU fan uh, the CPU fan and the heatsink are all together in one piece so first of all I need to remove the screw uh, just so you know the screw does not come out so just unscrew it Alright, so we have done that part. Now before we can uh, remove the CPU fan, you actually need to disconnect the Wi-Fi cable. Uh, on the top here is grey, at the bottom is black. Uh, what I like to do is I like to give it a little marker here, so I know that this little blue dot is for the bottom black. So to remove it, I'm just lifting it up. Uh, it doesn't have any pin or anything. Uh, it just kind of like a push push in to secure that Wi-Fi connector. Just lift it up and you can disconnect the cable. Now here is my CPU fan. You can see that there's this black little clipper here. You actually need to flip the clipper up. Okay, so once you flip it up, then you can slide this ribbon cable down. And you slide it down, then the entire CPU heatsink and the CPU fan will just come out without any problem. Now, as you can see that the thermal paste is kind of dry. So what you want to do is you want to get an alcohol wipes. Okay, so you want to get like one of these alcohol pads, the uh, alcohol wipes and go ahead and wipe it down and clean it. 
and also you want to apply a new thermal compound so this thermal paste is allowed you to conduct the heat better onto the heat sink um, okay so the next part is I like to try to remove the motherboard and show you on how to do that um, or for those of you who wants to replace the LCD screen uh, this video would I'll try to explain this in this video here okay so let's go ahead and disconnect this cable this is actually your uh, LCD cable here so I flip the clipper open and then go ahead and slide the screen out Okay, so it's kind of like they have this tape, somewhat tape underneath here. So it kind of took me a while to slide it out. Uh, but this, the goal is to open up the clipper and then slide out the, uh, the ribbon cable. Okay, and let's see here. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that for this one. I'm probably sure one of them is the touch screen and one of them is for... Um, the LCD so probably this might be the touch screen I'm not 100% sure which cable is for what but the purpose for them is they have the uh, front camera the touch screen everything all aligned with the same cable okay so once I have the clipper open so let me go ahead and slide this one out okay that's how you remove them so pretty much I think at this point here uh, we can see that this gray cable for the Wi-Fi goes underneath the motherboard. Uh, probably that is the Wi-Fi or the Bluetooth for this this black one as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue disconnecting all the cable and remove the motherboard. So this one here is for the touchpad. I open up the clipper, slide the cable up, open up the clipper, slide this keyboard lighting. I believe this is a keyboard lighting. And I believe this is for the keyboard open the clipper slide it out uh, this is probably the IB uh, Lenovo what do you call the touch fingerprint ID or whatnot this must be the USB and the power button cable so go ahead and open them up one two three four five okay so let's go ahead and unscrew the um, motherboard If you have any computers that you need help with, you know, that I do not have the video about, uh, just comment below, let me know. Uh, I'll try to make the videos for you. Uh, let's see, what is this? Okay. Uh, yeah, so just comment below if you have any question. I'm here to answer those uh, problems that you have. Um, let's see. Okay, I try to think what exactly are those black things are, but sorry if my camera is off the angle. Um, let me just move it back right in the center. At least you can see it. Okay. Alright, so, so far the motherboard is loose, ready to go. I have a few more screws right here. It looks like the motherboard is entire piece, meaning that it goes from left to right entirely 
at first I thought like the motherboard is only stopped right here uh, but it's not it so it's actually go all the way down here the motherboard is very thin um, the the way they make the board is very impressive that can be so thin um, yeah so the motherboard is really thin so if you're gonna ship the motherboard or buy a replacement make sure you wrap the motherboard real good make sure you have a hard cardboard top and bottom to protect it because the motherboard is pretty flimsy okay just just so you know all right so here's your motherboard that's how I remove it if you want to look for the product number how to change it out uh, probably this is the one that you want to look for is 14282-2m um, or maybe this one 448.04p15 okay there might be some model number here just look it up and that's how you find the replacement on your motherboard alright so as I promised I'd like to show you how to remove the LCD uh, looks like this is a touchscreen LCD if I remember and yeah so um, instead of replacing the glass and get into the LCD my suggestions the best advice for you is to replace entire screen altogether because if you miss the uh, the digitizer on the sensor then you know your screen would be acting like a ghost right so uh, it's very important um, I would just rather replace entire screen altogether okay so let's see if I can open this hinge So the hinge is special because this computer here runs like a uh, like a notepad, meaning that it can do uh, like a tablet. Is so yeah. So I gotta gently open the thing. Okay, pushing it up, pushing it up, right about almost ninety degree angle. I gotta keep pushing okay at this point here it is about 90 degree angle and I try to slide the uh, try to slide the uh, okay so try to slide the entire screen out and as well as the keyboard now as you can see the board is disconnected and oopsie yeah so uh, just so you know that the keyboard is uh, replaceable meaning that you don't have to change entire palm rest with the keyboard but it is a pain to change the keyboard okay what I mean by that is um, you would have to unscrew here all that thing and this entire keyboard would come out okay so you're almost there you just got to lift up all this flex cable here right lift it up and then unscrew all this things and then the entire keyboard will just come out okay but for this video I'm not going to show you to how to do that but that's how you're gonna do it now if you want to find a replacement on the um, keyboard you look it up here is serial number SN20H 34951 um, there you're gonna have it and this is the touchpad at the bottom so it looks like everything is a la carte you can replace them okay now, except the only thing that I do not suggest you to to do is to um, change out the LCD glass. I'd rather you to buy the entire um, LCD just like that entire piece. Okay, so um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I will really appreciate you for doing that. And if you have any question, just comment below. And until next time, uh, I'll make more video for you. Take care. Bye now.